Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a whoopee cushion cake. This year for Halloween, I'm dressing up as a whoopee cushion, and I was extremely inspired by this costume, so I decided to make this whoopee cushion cake. If you like this video, and you like this costume, and you like this cake, subscribe to our channel because we put out a new cake video every Monday. And if you'd like to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes and become a patron. So let's get started. I started out with a round layer of cake and instead of stacking the cake and then carving it, I opted to carve the cake layers beforehand. So basically I just placed the cake down on some parchment paper and I'm just rounding out the edges. Next I take that layer of cake, I place it down on a cake board, add a layer of icing, and then another layer of cake. This cake is already carved just like I did on that bottom layer. So now that the cake is carved, we're gonna cover it in buttercream. This is called a crumb coat. This is the layer that will be nice and smooth that the modeling chocolate is going to go over top. I use a scraper to smooth out the icing. You can also just use an offset spatula. That works fine too. Then I pop that in the fridge and I work on my modeling chocolate. So to create this pink, I actually used red. I realized that pink right out of the food color bottle was a little bit too vibrant, where if I used red, it had more of an orangey pink hue. I'm starting out using just a small amount of modeling chocolate to color match. And that's because if I goof up the color, let's say I make it too dark or too red, then at least I only messed up this tiny amount of chocolate instead of a big chunk of chocolate. Next, I covered the cake in the modeling chocolate. So the camera actually stopped filming because I ran out of battery, but really I've covered cakes and modeling chocolate plenty of times. I have tons of footage of that, so you can just check out another video to see that happen. So I just take some sculpting tools and I'm adding these little dents like I see in the real whoopee cushion. You can see I'm using the side of the tools instead of the pointed end. So I'm taking the side and I'm pushing into the modeling chocolate. Modeling chocolate is really strong. It keeps its shape really well. So even though there's cake in there that isn't cut out in those shapes, it will bend and smush and make the proper shape. It's a nice, easy way of sculpting a cake instead of going in and carving out all those little details. Now I'm gonna add the little piece of rubber that goes around the edge of the cake. So instead of adding a piece to create that little lip, I just used the modeling chocolate that's already on the cake. I took a ball tool and I'm pushing the chocolate down and up. So I'm creating a little sandwich of chocolate. And then I go in and I pinch it with my fingers and I trim it away with a blade. This allows me to make this little lip super, super small and thin. You could roll out a piece of modeling chocolate and put it around the edge of the cake, but honestly, I think this is quite a bit easier and I think it looks better. So you can see even sometimes I use my finger and I hold my finger down and I push the chocolate down. Modeling chocolate is really easy to manipulate. So I can just go in and use the tools and push it around to create all these different shapes. Then I added the little end. It's just a thin piece of modeling chocolate. Next comes some powdered sugar. The real whoopee cushion has a white powder on it. So to create that effect, I used powdered sugar. So I just lightly brushed on some powdered sugar all over the entire cake whoopee cushion. Here I have an edible marker. So this is filled with food color and it's super easy to draw on cakes with. It's gonna be much easier than going in and hand painting with food color. 
So I'm just copying the image I see on the real whoopee cushion. It's this woman, super funny. She sat down and she's tooting. There's a little dog that fell off the chair and a man in the background who is shocked. It's really, really funny. I love a good whoopee cushion. And there you have it, a whoopee cushion cake. Because why not? It's funny.